Good day, wet shavers, and welcome back to The Shaving Tulsa. This is your host, Timmy Two Shaves, bringing you guys yet again another video. Hope you guys are in store for a fun shave today, because I know I certainly had a wonderful shave with these products. Now, this shave was more of a fun endeavor than anything else. I really wanted to just showcase just a fun shave. I know we still have the Haircut and Shave Company in 075 review coming up, and it is going to be the exact same format as this video. But I want to share with you guys the products that we're using in tonight's lineup. Of course, you guys have already seen here that we have the puck here from Sir Henry's Black Tie. Um, this is the Sandalwood and Tonka scent, and this is a really, really spectacular scent. And this is something that is a very creamy sandalwood, as most sandalwoods are, but that Tonka really kind of levels it out um, and, and elevates it to something that is unlike a lot of other sandalwoods that I have run across within the hobby. Now, the real standout here is not just the scent, but it's the performance of this soap. This soap is a wonderful performer. As you can see here, I mean, it's whipping up into a wonderful lather. This sucker really gets dense, really gets creamy, uh, very thick, uh, wonderful texture, not drippy, nothing like that at all. It can really dial in to your preferred way to shave, and it's fantastic. Now, of course, what you also saw here as far as products is we have the Thirsty Badger Ceramic Shave Bowl. Our friends up north provided that for me, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have this in the den. It's been there for a while, and I've always, always loved that bowl. It is just a wonderful bowl to use for any soap, for any brush. It always builds a consistent lather. I know how to use it. Very intuitive. And I know that he's actually making bowls again. Due to everything with COVID-19, we did see a drop in a lot of manufacturing from various artisan, artisans, various craftsmen, um, but they should be back up and running and providing more bowls. So if you haven't taken a look at Thirsty Badger, definitely go ahead and give him a look. He's got some great content. He's a, he has a wonderful blog that I think all of you would find fascinating. Now, of course, what we also have here is one of my tried and true favorite brushes. This is the Paragon Shaving 26 millimeter Plisson plus soft type knot. Paragon is another one of our friends up north. I love Canadian products. Everything that I've tried it from Canada just seems to be a hit with me. Now, whether that's Highland Spring Soap Company, Paragon Shaving, Thirsty Badger, um, there's a number of wonderful artisans and craftsmen up there that are just doing a wonderful job. Everything screams and exudes quality. You guys are probably familiar with a really big artisan up there, um, or actually um, Razor Maker Carve Shaving Company. Another great Canadian wet shaver. Um, really like their products, and you guys know they have a great reputation. So it's just nice to have more Canadian products in the den. And this brush is no exception. I think this was actually my first true exposure to any Canadian products. And I paired this with their soap offering, uh, which is Sunlit Forest. Wonderful product. You guys should check that out if you have any time. Now, of course, what we're also using here is a little bit of an unconventional pairing. We're seeing the Prismatic Shave Head from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You guys know this is one of my favorite razor heads of all time. I had used this for a long time before, you know, kind of working my way through to other razors. But it's still a favorite. It's a no-nonsense. You can pick it up, grab it. Super intuitive. Wonderful to use. And it's resting on a carbon shaving company handle. Stainless steel. 316 marine grade stainless steel. And that sucker is wonderful. You can buy the handles individually. If you'd ever like, they pair with virtually all of my razor heads and base plates, so I'd encourage you to go ahead and give them a look because the grip on these is like none other. I think the only other grip out there that seems to have anything on this particular razor handle is probably going to be from Rex um, Supply Company. They really offer a fantastic razor. But really guys, this was just a nice, chill, comfortable shave that I wanted to share with all of you. Not really a review, not so much featuring a dedicated, you know, in-depth 
look at certain products, just a fun and relaxing shave with wonderful products that I've come to know and appreciate over the years. And you find that you want to experiment. Sometimes you just want to reach for something that you haven't reached for in a while, like the Prismatic for me. And then sometimes you want to experiment more with products and artisans that maybe you're not as familiar with, like Sir Henry. There are just so many artisans out there, so many great products that I'm incredibly thankful to be part of a hobby where I have so many options. But I'd love to try them all. Maybe one day I will. But until that time, I'm very happy to be here with all of you showcasing these and a wonderful Sunday shave. Of course, I'm finishing up with the Ariana Evans Shave Serum. Wonderful, great post-shave product that just really adds to the finesse of that shave experience. Thank you all for dropping in and listening in on this video. And we'll see you next time on The Shaving Tolson.